Welcome back to the channel. I am the Sunday Pilot and this is the third episode in our long haul domestic series. However, this episode is a two parter as we fly here from RAF Bryce Norton to RAF Mount Pleasant in the Falkland Islands, which will in fact be our second flight to the Falkland Islands this year in the channel as we remember the 40th anniversary of the Falklands conflict in 1982. I'm going to ask you to bear with me a little bit as we get into this video. First of all, the departure time for this flight is 12 10 a.m. That's 0, 0 10 hours a.m. So it's going to be pitch black and therefore very hard to show you anything here on the channel. So I'll give you a little bit of an overview of the scenery provided by UK 2000's VFR England South series before we jump forward to 0010 hours and pitch blackness. The last thing I want to say is this air tanker service between Bryce Norton and Mount Pleasant is flown in real life by an Airbus A330-200 and not the Dash 300 you're seeing today. The simple fact is Aerosoft only ever produced the Dash 300 series but let's be clear guys, this is Flight Simulator. We're flying in the virtual world and a little bit of imagination is always what you need. As I said earlier, this is a two part series starting here at RAF Bryce Norton because in real life, this service between Bryce Norton and the Falklands goes via Dakar in Senegal. Of course, during normal times, the service went from Bryce Norton to the Cape Verde Islands and then onto the Falklands. But of course, the pandemic changed all of that and the pit stop for the service was moved to Dakar in Senegal. So that's where we're off to now in part one of this long haul domestic service between RAF Bryce Norton and RAF Mount Pleasant in the Falklands. And before you say anything, this is a domestic service for the passengers, just not the crew. Because Air Tanker operate this service twice weekly on behalf of the UK Ministry of Defence. So unfortunately, they'll be getting off the aircraft at Dakar, spending three days in quarantine before rejoining the aircraft three days later on its route from Bryce Norton to Mount Pleasant. Jumping right into Simbrief, this is a pretty straightforward flight, departing on runway 26 here at Bryce Norton. However, I find the departure a little bit strange because shortly after takeoff, we'd we'll be turning right, heading towards the southern half of the West Midlands, crossing a little bit of the Bristol Channel, South Wales, before heading westbound to a waypoint somewhere several hundred miles south of the Irish coast. And at that waypoint, we would be turning south in the direction of the Portuguese island of Madeira and then the Spanish islands of the Canaries, before tracking southbound along the west coast of North Africa in the direction of Senegal and of course its capital Dakar, where we would be expecting an arrival in ILS runway 01. And while the crew would be enjoying three days in a quarantine lockdown hotel in Dakar, the passengers will be heading on to Mount Pleasant in the Falklands. Of course, all of that to come in the next episode of this long haul domestic series. Right up in the cockpit, it's time to prepare this Airbus A330-300 for its flight from Bryce Norton to Dakar. Set parking brakes. Unlocking gear. Tow truck disconnected. Bypass pin removed. Short runway 26, 
As I said earlier, the scenery that we have installed here for RF Prize Norton comes from UK 2000 and their VFR England South series. It's pretty basic scenery, but actually you get a lot for your money. So at the end of the day, I simply bought all three UK 2000 VFR scenery packs for prepared 3D version 4.5. With this flight departing Bryce Norton in the early hours of the morning, it is very dark outside and therefore very hard to bring you good footage here on the channel. The great news is the next sector of this long haul domestic service from Dakar down to the Falkland Islands is done during daylight. Anyway, back to this first sector as we make our way out to runway 26 here at RAF Bryce Norton in Oxfordshire. It is so hard to show you anything during a nighttime flight, but at the end of the day, we are trying to recreate a real world flight here in Flight Simulator. So flying in the dark is just one of those things. As we climbed westward over the West Midlands in the direction of Wales, we would make a number of step climbs to flight level 380 or 38 thousand feet and that's where we would remain for the duration of this flight down to Dakar. So to say that this was probably one of the most boring departures I've ever done in flight sim would be an understatement. At one point in the flight I even thought I was going to catch the sunrise but no that didn't happen either. So in reality we continued on our flight down to Dakar in the dark. As dawn rose over North 
West Africa. We were starting our descent for Dakar and ultimately we would be vectored towards ILS runway 01. The scenery that I've got installed here at Dakar is from FSDG Light and that means we're arriving in the new airport at Senegal's capital and because this airport was never in the stock scenery within prepared ultimate traffic live simply doesn't know it exists. So along with the new airports at Istanbul, Doha and here at Dakar we'll be very light on traffic. Five hundred. Four hundred. Three hundred. Two hundred. 100 50 40 30 20 retard 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 5 Welcome to Dakar. I've got no idea what the autopilot was doing just before I disconnected it. It was a little bit disconcerting. However, I think I recovered it okay and got this bird onto the ground. As I said earlier, you're not going to see any traffic here at Dakar's new international airport and that's all down to Ultimate Traffic Live. To be quite honest, I've got a real love hit relationship with this product. I used to use My Traffic X from FSX, which ported into Prepared no problem. However, My Traffic X simply wasn't kept up to date. But neither has Ultimate Traffic Live. Of course, in My Traffic X, you were able to change the destination airport manually, simply moving the traffic schedule from the old airport to the new airport. But I've never found a way to do that in Ultimate Traffic Live. Anyway, we've come to the end of another episode of Sim Sunday. This air tanker Airbus A330 will remain on the ground here in Dakar for just under two hours before continuing to Mount Pleasant in the Falkland Islands under the same flight number. And that's exactly what we'll be doing in the next episode as we continue this long haul domestic service from RAF Bryce Norton to RAF Mount Pleasant. So all that remains for me to say is wherever you're flying in your virtual world, don't forget to fly safe.